Welcome back, everybody. It's time to lock down another Booster Cracking Sunday, and I'm jumping back into Force of Will. It's been a few weeks since I did, and uh, I really want to open up my second box of the seventh. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to open this sucker up and see what kind of cool pulls we can find. I'm still missing a few of the J rulers that I was looking for from the first box, so I'm hoping to pull some cool new ones from here. And yeah, without further ado, let's jump into it because this set was super cool and I miss getting into some Force of Will, so let's do it. This box was a little destroyed in the mailing system, so I opened up my good box first, and this one is just a little bit bent up in the corner, as you can see, just a hair. But I don't know, I'm hoping it'll just mean it's a little bit more of a lucky box, potentially. Get off the packaging, crack this thing open, and take a look at our other cool buy box card right here. We've got, what's his name again? Or her name? Electo, Unstoppable Fury, dope, dope card. But well, we've seen it before, so let's start jumping into packs. The seventh, let's go. The new set name was released, isn't it? Like the Great God War or the Great War of Gods or something like that. Something pretty crazy, but I am excited for it. It's got a lot of like, you know, it's getting into more Valhalla vibes, which I love. Here's our first card. We passed our rare, but Beatrice's Imagination is our super rare full art, which is awesome. That is really, really nice. And that was our rare. Next up, let's go. See some of this other cool artwork again. I gotta re be reminded. I kind of forgot what was in the set already. Oh yeah, the Cthulhu card. Yes, there's our rare, what is that one? Corpse Eater Dragon, pretty cool. And wow, look at that, we got the full art of it straight away, interesting. Probably not worth a ton for this one, but we'll see, bang. Next up, let's go, keep cracking through these packs. We got the Cthulhu on top, Phantismal Image or whatever it's called, I forget. There's our super rare, Baal. Baal's Rule, Baal's Rule, very cool card. Give me the full art of that one. Ooh, Beatrice's Curse. Just a normal, but a lovely looking card. It looks really sweet. Next up, let's go. Come on, get into this pack here. Let's see what we can find. Oh, we passed the card a little bit. That's all right. Choir of Fallen Angels as our rare. And then we've got the Six Boon. The Six Boon Requiem Jewel. From what I can remember, this one's Dece. It's Dece. Good card to get, a nice full art, that's for sure. Straight into the next, let's keep going. We got the Fallen Angels in here, more Beatrice. Does that mean we're gonna get Beatrice as a J-Ruler? She is a J-Ruler, right? Olivia is our super rare sky-splitting Thunderbolt. And then behind it, we've got Graveyard of Amadeus, just a normal. When are they gonna start bringing back alternate art cards or secret alternate art cards? I miss those, man, come on. We gotta start bringing them back, guys. Come on, really. All right, rare is right here. We've got Amadeus's demon, a sick looking demon card. Behind it though, yeah, our first J ruler, it's Baal. Look at how sick he looks. Holy crap, he looks awesome. Dang, like I've seen the pictures online, but like, geez, oh pizza, this card looks phenomenal in person. There's the first side here, Baal. And then, dang, what a spectacular view he changes into once you get on the holographic. That is freaking awesome. And he's a good card to get. He's a good J-Ruler. All the J-Rulers are at least like 20 bucks, something like that. I think we pulled like one of the ones that was on the low end. I forget which one in the last video. But Baal is up there, and he looks freaking dope, that's for sure. One J-Ruler down. So, one was at the top, and the other one was at the bottom in the last video. So, I wonder if it's going to follow the same trend where we got one on the top and one on the bottom. Angel of False Life is our nice rare. And then we got, ooh, we got some Wolfgang up in here as our super rare Prince of Amadeus. All right, we got some Wolfgang. That should be a good card. It is a nice looking full art. That's for dang sure, wow. Nice artwork. As long as we keep continuing to get stuff that I haven't gotten last time, that is perfectly fine with me. Give me some new full arts and I'll be a happy camper. So let's go into it. Here's our, oh, we passed our rare. That is Imaginary Satan Magical Crystal is our full art, a dope looking card. What was it, uh, Cerberus? Cerberus guy was our rare. I don't think he's worth anything. Next up, let's go, come on. We got Cthulhu, always a good sign in my eyes. Let's see what else we got in here. We got Cradle, and then we got Super Rare. We got, uh, what, what is her name? Oh my gosh, Jealous Fury, Megara. Megara Jealous Fury, a very cool card. Behind it, we've got Selective Decapitation, just a normal. Oh man, I don't remember that card. 
Good pace, good pace. Let's keep going. We got a nice looking card on the top there. Some nice artwork on that one. Revealing uh, Dagon Graveyard. Carolina Storm is our rare, a dope looking full art that we got last time of this one. And behind it, ooh, this is a great one. Grayon full art Marvel rare. He is actually, now usually these beast cards, they're not always great, but one of them usually has like value and it's Grayon. He is freaking dope. He's a sick looking like Beamoth. He almost looks like a Balrog almost, kind of. He's got those vibes. It's pretty crazy, but a nice, nice Marvel Rare Full Art. He's definitely going to have some value. Ooh, buddy, let's keep going. We're hitting some good stuff on the top of the box here. So, what do we have in this pack? We've got Wolfgang again, just the normal version, super rare. Not bad, not bad. Behind it, we've got Castle of Estema, normal. Back at it again with another pack, and we're getting back into it here. Let's go. Cthulhu, the hand creeping out, some chains, the creeping alien, Cthulhu, non-Cthulhu creature, Charlotte, inheritor of the seventh power, sweet, sweet card, dope full art, Marvel rare, gonna be worth some value, and then behind it we've got good old Cthulhu here in the normal guide to the center of the demonic world, cool to get in full art, but you know, it's just a normal. Keep on grabbing the packs, pulling them out of the box, and putting them to the side. Easy grabbing. Let's go get some more. All right, what do we got in this one? Normal, and then our rare is River of the Dead. Behind it, a dope, dope rare. Yes, it's the other version. Uh, we pulled this card last time. It's If we pull it again, I'll show you guys, but Avatar of the Will of Amadeus. Dang, what a beautiful card. The artist that did this card and the other card that we pulled in the last box is freaking dope and it's so so impressive so i'm super glad that i pulled this one because this one is just phenomenal it's blinding almost this holographic like dang but just take a look at that just phenomenal i think i prefer this one over the other one it is really cool we're getting the good stuff and i am enjoying it everything that i didn't get in the last box i'm getting in this box i like the variety that these boxes tend to give out it's really really good all right, Typhoon Avenging Fury, or Typhoon, Typhoon Avenging Fury, I don't know how you say it. Super rare, nice one. And then we got Invisible Terror Normal, a nice full art Cthulhu card. I dig it, I dig it. Next, let's go. Come on, we got Baal, we got whatever, a nice demon, a nice demon. Uh, what's that? Another demon, Fallen Angel, I guess, which is a demon. And that was not our normal. This is our rare, this is our second boon. Holy Adam, is this the good, good one? One of the ones from last box, from what I can remember, one of these boons, I believe it was this fiery one, or am I confusing it with another? One of them had a pretty big price tag, actually. Now, things have definitely probably dropped since then, but we'll see how much it goes for. And then, woo, we got a super rare. We got Brad Boy over here, the masked mage. He's getting a little masked man over here, being a little vigilante or something. Brad's coming back in stronger than ever. He's uh, changed his look up a little bit. But this is definitely going to be a good super rare card. A nice full art to get, that's for sure. Dope. Big boy Brad coming in with this new set. I think I like him as his J ruler better from the last set. But, you know, it's okay. I think I like all the guys better from the last set. All right, first rare here, Fallen Angel of Black Tears. A good one to get in a full art, I think. And what is this? Baal's Favor. Dang, just a normal. But, wow, I don't remember seeing this normal card. Really, really cool artwork. Very dynamic. Very crazy. Wow. Next, let's go. Keep it cruising through these packs. See what else we can find. Castle, castle. Oh, we've got the Hunting Angel. Very nice. We haven't gotten her in a full art yet, but we did pull this one in the last one. Uh, let's see what we got here. We got a rare giant pig. Yeah, this was not going to really be worth much, I don't believe. Boom. Cracking on. We got Beatrice. I'd love to get Beatrice or Carolina as our another J ruler. Those would be the two big ones that I would love to get. We got Baal, he was cool, but one of those girls would be lovely. All right, Prideful Rule is our rare. Demon of Explosions, normal, full art, but a really sick looking demon card. Dope, just your very standard demon, you know, nothing special, but it's got some very good artwork on it. Pulling a few from the lucky left side, as we like to do. Maybe we'll get something good. Maybe they're all hiding at the end of the box. Let's find out. We've got, what is this? Mermaid of Despairing Voice as our rare. Don't think I got that one yet. Revealing the power of salvation. Just a normal, probably not worth much. 
All right, what do we got in this one? Let's pull a super rare full art in this set, in this pack, I should say. Normal, rare is imaginary Satan, magic crystal. And then behind it, eh, it's just a rare, but it's the first boon Excalibur, Chaos's sword. Um, can't remember if this one has value. The boons, um, I say are like 80% value pretty decently. Uh, but not all of them. There's like a couple spare that are just like so-so. Obviously, people just aren't using them in the meta right now. Going in to the next one. Get these little things out of here. Give me the Cthulhu card. And we'll keep on trucking through normal. Oh, I just showed off our, <laughs> our back one. But Violet Flame of Providence Distortion. A good super rare to get, honestly. And let's just go into the next one here. It's just a normal. It's the Mimicking Beast. A pretty cool card, just a normal though. Next up, let's go see what we can find here. More Cthulhu, yeah, Beatrice, come on, let's see it. Rare is gonna be Marching of the Dead, and behind it we've got a Stemma! Yes, our next J Ruler. Let's go, that is a sick, sick card. Wow, look at her, she is lovely. Dang, there's the first side, the flip side is looking pretty spectacular. Gotta love it. Whoa. Really cool. Kind of confusing with all the feathers. Just a hair. Just a hair. But a really cool card. Really cool card for a Stemma. Very nice. Now we hit our next J-Ruler, but I keep forgetting. Do we get two or three? I can't remember. I always, like, forget for some reason whether you get two or three J-Rulers. I can't remember. So maybe there's one more, but here's a good card to get. Vichicles, or whatever you want to call him. Rebel Against Satan, a very good card. We pulled this in a full art last time. It was phenomenal. Definitely has some good, good value. Just a normal voice from the void, so nothing too crazy there. Is it two or three? Two or three? I just I can't ever seem to remember. I don't know. Maybe it's just because I open up so many sets from so many of the different timelines of Force of Will that I can't keep track. Tears of Corruption is our rare, though, and behind it we've got PL's Rule. Full art, let's go. Wait, didn't we pull a full art of Bale? Or am I just getting confused? He was one of the first ones we pulled. It wasn't a full art, was it? No, no, it wasn't. All right, good. But we did get the full art and it is looking sick. I mean, again, just with the J Ruler Bale, it is phenomenal in person. It's really got some nice pop on those reds. Really dope. Next up, let's go see what else we can find in here. A lot of Bale theme, so we gotta keep going. We've got the uh, Demon versus Angel pack or box I should say. Is this Stemma an angel? I actually don't know. I don't know the storyline. Third boon, Persona Magic Mask. I don't think this one's worth a ton. And then we've got Fallen Angel of the Chasm. Rare, dope card. Look at that. Wow, that artwork is really nice. They did some really nice stuff with this new set. It's been really such a fun one to open up with all these new artworks and new artists on the set. The artists may not even be new. Maybe I just haven't fully appreciated their artwork until now, but, and if that's the case, then I'm sorry for passing of your artwork in previous sets, but you guys did great in this one. We got Brad again, big boy Brad, coming in with just a normal super rare, non-hollow, non-full art. Behind it, we've got Cradle of the what? The Griefing? The Griefling Despair? Crippling, crippling, wow. All these letters uh, flow together pretty nicely when I'm trying to just look on camera. It's just a normal. Let's keep going, see if we can finish up this box before my time runs out of my camera. Try to cruise through here a little bit quicker since we've opened it. Avatar of the Will of Amadeus, again, just the normal version, but come on. Look at that, just the normal version, so you can really get a nice look at the artwork with not the foiling on it, but just really, really impressive. There we go, Faria, Igniter of the Holy Fire, super rare full art, very, very nice. Aria, I can't remember if you're being played right now or not, so we're going to have to see what your price is on this one, but a good card to get. All right, we pulled from the middle stack. We're pulling from the right side stack. We're going to save the lucky left side for the last, and we still got a few more to go through. So let's see what else we can discover. Normal, normal, rare. Amadeus Holy Crystal. Pretty cool, pretty cool. It's got that border, that really nice border. Old school border, almost. Archon River of the Dead Rare Full Arts. Look at that shine on that hollow. On the river very cool back at it 
Let's go. We got our little beast boy over here. A demon, Beatrice, another demon, a bird. You know, I don't like the birds in this set. All right, the fourth boon, Last Regrets, A Black Tears, the longest name ever. It might as well be a book, but a really solid card to get because it is worth some money. More so in the full art, but I'll still take it. I don't know what it's going for. Imaginary Dagon as our normal full art. Pretty sick. I wanted to get this one in a full art, so pretty happy about that. Nice. In two more packs we go. Let's see, we got some Tears, Oblivion, Dagon again, Cradle to the Grave, the Six Boon, uh, what is that one, Requiem Jewel again, just a normal version, we already got the full art, very nice, and then we got Violet's Full Art, Flame of Providence Distortion, very good pull, very good pull, everybody likes Violet, and I know she's being played, so... This is pretty good. Did we pull this one in the last box? We might have. I can't remember fully, honestly. But a very good hit, nonetheless. Very nice. I know it's a little late to say, but if you haven't seen the last opening of the seventh, make sure to go check that out in the playlist and see all the other cool stuff that we're, we've been opening up in the past month or so here. Carolina's Hunting is a card I want to get in the full art. Pretty sick card. Should be worth some value. Carolina's definitely got some bangers. Raging Ogre is just our normal hollow full art. Pretty sick card, though. I do like the artwork. Next up, let's go. Come on. Let's see. We're finishing out the right side, so the next one's going to be our lucky left here. We got a super rare Beatrice's Imagination Normal, since we pulled the full art already. Very good, very good. Behind it, we got Bael's Messenger, just a normal a dumb little stupid eagle bird. All right, the final four comes down to this. Let's see what we can find. We got Beatrice, Wall of Terror, Table, whatever. We got another normal. And then our rare is the fifth boon, Lightning Bolt Bow. I think this is the only boon that I didn't get from the last box. So pretty nice to kind of finish it all out here. So I don't know how much that one goes for. Hand of the Void, just a normal, pretty lame looking card, honestly. I've seen it done a million times. Shoot, I used to, I designed cards for a card game in my local hometown here. And I did one very similar to this like two years ago, so they kind of copied me. Although the art is way better than what mine was, all right? I'm a good artist, but uh, that's still more impressive than the kind of coloring job I did. So let's keep going. Stemma. And there we go. Our Marvel Rare Angel of the False Glory. Look at these beautiful artwork cards. This is the other side to all that stuff. There's three of them, I believe, total, actually. There is. There's three of them. There's this one, the other one, and then the one we pulled in this box. So very nice card. Be nice to get a full art. We got some table manners, though, in a full art. I'll take that. That's a nice card to get in a full art. Very well done artwork on this one for Carolina. Very, very cool. Very, very dope greens. I love when they just put the pop in, like, great greens or blues or reds in the background. It just looks so nice. Next, this is our second to last one. So we're going to slow it down just a hair and really take in what the seventh has brought to us so far. We've got Envious Dragon, not the best thing you could provide for us here on these last final packs, but you know, let's see what we got right here. We got Demon of Pride and Greed Rare. I uh, don't have this one with full art. Artwork's pretty cool. He's eating like a freaking dragon or dinosaur. Probably a dragon, but nah, I don't think he goes for much, honestly. The final pack, let's get into it. Here we go. Let's see what we can finish out the box with. Can we finish out on a banger? I've been doing that lately in my unboxings, just finishing out really strong, so I'm hoping we can do the same. Super Rare Amadeus's Enchantment is the one that, that we got hiding the other card, which is just Cradle of Biting Frost Normal. Ugh, that's a bummer. Oh well. Pulls of the day, let's do it. I think we did really good in this box, actually, so let's start off with Bale's Rule. Good card, I believe. Wolfgang should be worth some value, I'm hoping. And of course, I gotta put this one in there because it's just too cool not to. It may not be worth a lot, but Avatar of the Will of Amadeus is just too sick not to put in there. Fallen Angel of the Chasm, the Fallen Angel cards usually have some value. We got Brad, big boy Brad, full art. Yeah, we gotta put him in there. Faria, full art, gotta put her in there. You know, Violet, Violet, come on. She's a must-have in here as well. Really, it's gonna be a good card. And then we've got Gray on our big bad boy Marvel Rare, very, very nice. And now we get to the juicy stuff. We get a Stemma in our box, the J-Ruler. It's a very, very nice card. It should be worth some value, of course. We've got Bale as our second J-Ruler of the box, looking extra spicy. 
Man, I'm just in love with the colors on this car, the yellow. Man, it's so, so cool. And hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like button on it and subscribe for more booster boxes that I'll be opening up in the future. You can see some of them here, but we got a lot more just in the weights waiting to get some more support behind it so we can open them up. So stay tuned for that. And thank you guys for watching all the way to the end. If you did, you're a champion. And we will see you guys in the next video.